If you're looking to set up one of Solana's most popular wallets known as Soulflare, look no further because in this video we're going to show you exactly how to set it up and use these Soulflare wallets so you can store, spend and use your Soul tokens freely across the Solana ecosystem. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. Use a Bono wallet if you feel more comfortable and be sure to smash that like and subscribe button leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems for daily crypto content and check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles, and everything crypto related. Friends, let's dive straight into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're officially on the Soulflare website, which is soulflare.com. We're going to come back here in a second. However, we've got the Soulflare X page, which is at Soulflare underscore wallet. Give them a follow and turn on the notification bells if you wish to stay up to date with everything regarding their wallet. So my friends, going back over to soulflare.com, what we're going to do is we're briefly going to go through the website. And then, of course, we're going to show you how to set up the Soulflare wallet on a desktop such as a laptop or computer. Now, you can also use this on the mobile phone. It is absolutely sleek and you can see that on the right hand side right here. However, what we're going to be doing is guys, we're going to be downloading it for the Chrome extension, which is Google Chrome, the browser that I'm using right now. So as you can see, a secure and powerful Solana wallet. Soulflare is the safest way to start exploring Solana, buy a store, swap tokens and NFTs and access Solana DeFi from web or mobile. Down below, guys, you can see that we've got a 17% circulating soul stake through Soulflare, which is the equivalent of $14.29 billion across 73.95 million accounts. Down below, guys, we can see the security behind the Soulflare wallet. Soulflare was the first Solana wallet ever. Our core mission to keep users as safe as possible will never change. This is the first wallet to ever exist, guys, on the Solana ecosystem. Then we obviously had Phantom, we had Backpack, we've got other Solana wallets. However, Soulflare was first to the game. We've got so many different features such as anti-phishing. Soulflare warns you before interacting with possibly malicious websites. Explore Solana dApps with ease of mind. Now guys, to be honest with you, I think this is absolutely essential in the world of Web3. As obviously, as we know, many protocols and tokens and NFTs have the ability to drain your wallet just from interacting with the wrong transaction. Therefore, Soulflare will prevent any of these things from happening as best as they can. They've got hardware wallet support. Therefore, you can use your ledger on both web and mobile and you've got transaction simulations therefore you can see exactly what leaves your wallet before signing a transaction and be protected at all times once again another form of security down below guys we've got block rocking power from newcomer to pro Soulflare has got you covered powerful features are constantly added to assist you to succeed more as you can see get instant notifications easy to read activity history buy store send swap manage your nft collection stake and earn Connect to Solana dApps and guys, there's so much more. All through the Soulflare wallet. Down below, we've got assistance when you need it. Everybody gets stuck sometimes. That's why you can connect to a live chat 24 seven whenever you need their support. And you've also got an academy so you can learn everything about Solana and Web3. Guys, this is absolutely incredible and a great place to get started because obviously a wallet is the first point of which everyone sets up. Now. What we're going to do is guys you can obviously go through the website yourself and i hope you do definitely before setting it up another cool implementation that they've added very recently is the metamask snap here you can actually use soulflare through metamask which is absolutely awesome get the solana snap and enter a parallel crypto universe with warp speed transactions and subatomic gas fees store solana based tokens and nfts access solana apps and much more down below, guys, you can see everything about this, guys. You can basically connect your Solana wallet to an EVM wallet such as Metamask. However, that is not the focus of this video. We are going to be doing the download for Chrome option, like I said earlier. So very simply, to download the wallet, we're going to click this button here. It's going to take us over to the Chrome Web Store, which, as you can see, it's got over 600,000 users on Chrome. Excluding the mobile users, it's got a 4.7 rating with 354 users. And all we have to do very simply is either A, give it a read and then read the reviews before you download it, or B, just go straight to it like I'm going to do and click Add to Chrome. From here, I click Add Extension. It's going to very simply download the Soulflare wallet into my Google Chrome. It shouldn't take longer than 30 seconds, guys. It's literally taken 10 seconds to download on mine. As we can see, it is now complete. And very simply, guys, what we want to do is before we continue, we're going to go up into the little jigsaw piece puzzle in the top right corner. 
we're going to click extensions and as you can see we're going to click this little pin button to add it with the other wallets that we have up the top as you can see i've got metamask phantom kepler petra razor wallet venom wallet sui wallet unisat wallet sub wallet backpack wallet and now we've got the software wallet and we can drag it across to make it whichever wallet that you use most obviously but i'm just going to leave it at the end for now because it is the newest one so from here we want to either a create a new software wallet or b create a wallet using a recovery phrase so that could be a seed phrase that you've used from say for example phantom or say for example the backpack wallet if you wanted to make software your primary wallet by using your previous recovery phrase then by all means you can do so however what we're going to do is guys we're going to set up a brand new wallet and that's why we're going to go with the option a and that is i need a new wallet another option guys before you continue is actually using a hardware wallet but we're not going to do this in this video you can use a ledger or a keystone both of which we've mentioned in our videos in the past however i'm not too keen on ledger personally keystone's pretty cool but we actually primarily use the trezor wallet nonetheless my friends we're going to continue with i need a new wallet get started with the solana blockchain within minutes now straight away guys you're going to be prompted with 12 words which is known as your recovery phrase or your seed phrase you have to write down all of these 12 words in particular order from 1 to 12 guys make sure you write it down on a piece of paper do not write it down on an electronic device that is extremely important my friends if you don't do that guys you are at risk of losing all of your assets if someone has access to all of these 12 words then you can completely lose all of your assets in your software wallet therefore it's so important to make sure that you've written down your recovery phrase you've make sure you've gotten all the spelling correct make sure you've got it down on a piece of paper you haven't written on an email you haven't written it on any digital device whatsoever that includes your mobile that includes your desktop your laptop nothing that is powered by electricity it must be on a physical piece of paper a still sheet or anything that is not electric therefore my friends what we're going to do is you're going to make sure you do not click the copy option or the download option because obviously what's that going to do that's going to save it onto your device please 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 avoid those i don't even know why software has that there that should not be an option therefore guys i'm going to write it down on a piece of paper and then once you've written it down guys you're going to click i saved my recovery phrase from here guys what you have to do is you have to input all of your recovery phrase if you click the copy option then obviously you can paste it but i do not recommend that whatsoever because that is going to be on your device at some point therefore i would personally recommend just typing it in doing it manually as that is the safest option now you're going to see me do it and then i'm going to go over to the continue button and from here all you have to do is simply set up a password just like you do with every other wallet make sure it's secure and make sure only you know it that is really cool from here you can also use the option shift s button to open up software straight away just like so i did that that is absolutely awesome now what we can do is we can click next continue and voila guys we have got our wallet if i click continue on here your wallet is ready enter solana guys this is absolutely awesome and we've even got a cool little portfolio page on the software wallet this is the opened up extension version as we can see we've got portfolio so we can see our assets which we've got nothing and i'll show you how to deposit in a minute we've got collectibles we've got staking trade and activity so from here guys why don't we simply now get started with the solana ecosystem by depositing solana tokens into our wallet so there's three options of getting solana into your wallet Option one is simply by using the on-ramp option where you can see this buy button on the portfolio page. If you even go up into your Soulflare wallet and you click buy, it is the same option. You get best rates, low or no documentation requirement. Therefore, there may or may not be KYC involved, which is absolutely awesome. And there are over 200 payment methods, including bank transfer, debit card, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and more. So as you can see, I'm going to do it over on the portfolio website on the Chrome extension as the opened up one is better to see. And I'm going to click buy. Buy. from here we're going to click continue and you can simply choose the amount of gbp or whichever currency you want to choose wherever you're from in the world say for example it's the australian dollar you can do 200 dollars and i would get 0.822 soul i would click show on ramp and boom from here guys all you have to do is input your details come back over choose either credit card debit card revolut pay and off you go depending on where you are in the world would depend on which platforms you can use to buy cryptocurrencies so that is one way of getting solana into your your wallet it would show up after a few minutes or it could even take longer depends on the network itself and obviously the on-ramp option but option two which is going to be using a centralized exchange and option two is a very popular way of doing so i personally use option two and there are many centralized exchanges to choose from we actually have a great promotion running on bybit which all you would have to do is guys come over
over to buybit.com, come over to where, for example, one click buy. This is so easy. This is the easiest way on a centralized exchange to get your Solana over. All you have to do is simply enter the amount of Solana that you want to buy. Say it was a hundred pounds worth, hundred dollars worth, whatever you want. You click deposit, you would get Solana in your centralized exchange. All you would do is you would go up to assets. You select the currency that you obviously want to withdraw. That's going to be Solana in our case. As we can see, we find Solana. Then obviously you would see the amount of Solana that you have because you just bought some. You would enter the wallet address. So if we go up into Soulflare, you'd simply click the receive button. As you can see, this is your wallet address. You can click the copy address button or simply copy it like that. Click copy or you can even scan it if you are using a mobile device. Therefore, I would click paste. As you can see, that's my wallet address. Just click chain type, sole, and then obviously enter the amount. There's a minimum of 0.21 that has to be withdrawn from Bybit. Therefore, if I did the full amount that I did buy, that would be around 0.822 sole. Click confirm, withdraw it straight to your Soulflare wallet. And for example, that is exactly how you would do it from a centralized exchange. Very simple, easy, and quick. And that is a very popular method of most which people use. Obviously, people buy on a centralized exchange and then send it over to a non custodial wallet where you own the keys and completely own the currencies. However, the third option, my friends, is to simply send over from another wallet of which I'm going to do in this video. For example, I've got assets on my Phantom wallet, which as you can see, I've got $610 in this wallet, more actually deposited into protocols. However, I've got $53 worth of Solana here. If I just click send and I'm going to now send over 0.0. .0 seven five which is give or take eleven dollars i'm going to paste that wallet address which is the address that i'm using on soulflare and i'm going to click next and i'm going to send that solana therefore in a minute guys we're going to see the solana sent over to our software wallet which as you can see if we refresh the page we have now got eleven dollars and fifty four cents 0.075 worth of solana in our software wallet from here what we can do is guys we can now send or receive more assets by clicking the send or receive button if you want to send assets back to that wallet you simply just send to the phantom wallet address which i just got up here click the wallet address click paste and then i'll send back but what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to simply utilize other features on Soulflare to show you how to use it. Now that you've got Solana tokens in your wallet, you can do whatever you wish in the Solana ecosystem. So, for example, in your collectibles tab, you'll see that we have NFTs here, but we don't actually own any in this wallet. If you go over to staking, we have got Solana staking. Therefore, we can stake with the Soulflare wallet validator, which will give us Soul rewards. Now, if you click stake now, all you have to do is simply go to 0.0 one so if i did one dollars and 54 cents worth i would simply be staking one dollars and 54 cents for 6.88 apy that is actually pretty good rewards guys and there are many tokens staked in the pool already so you could join other users by staking with the soulflare validator and to do so all you would do is click stake and then you would sign the transaction and voila off you go you are staking with soulflare now, we've also got trade. This is a very popular feature that many of us are going to use. From here, guys, what you can do is you can actually swap tokens directly through your Soulflare wallet. So say, for example, obviously, we've only got Solana tokens in our wallet right now. I'll choose the top token as Solana, and the bottom token is going to be Solana into another token, whatever is available here. Let's just say we did the Jupe token, which is from the Jupiter Exchange, and I'll show you that in a minute. If I just click 0.01, you can click swap Solana tokens into Jupe tokens directly into your soul flare wallet from here guys you can actually reverse the order so you can sell your jupe tokens once again if you don't want to own jupe and you want it back into soul or another token so if i just click swap that is exactly how you would sell now as you can see guys we've officially got all our soul back we've got the 0.0716 we obviously lost a bit in fees however that's how you use the swap feature directly in the soul flare wallet now to see all of your activity taking place in your soul flare wallet you just go to the activity tab and as you can see we've got all of the activity taking place in our wallet and that is some Thing that you'll want to keep an eye on now from here you know exactly what to do and exactly how to use the software wallet what about if you want to interact with decentralized applications on solana well let's just say for example you wanted to use the most popular exchange on solana known as jupiter exchange which we owned the dupe token very recently we have used the jupiter exchange many times in the past covering airdrop tutorials covering tutorials on how to use the exchange itself however what we're going to do is we're now going to show you how to use it using the Soulflare wallet so in the top right corner you can see i'm connected using my phantom wallet but i'm going to disconnect this wallet because i'm going to use the Soulflare wallet this time therefore if i click connect wallet this time i'm going to click more wallets 
and down below you can see Soulflare is an option. By clicking Soulflare, I'm going to connect my wallet and from here, I can simply swap any token on the Solana ecosystem. I can use any of the features using Soulflare's wallet just by having assets on the wallet and then obviously using the Jupiter Exchange. Guys, you can use pretty much any protocol in Solana using the first ever Solana wallet known as Soulflare. You can use it on mobile devices as well. This is exactly how to use the Soulflare wallet, my friends. It's very simple, very easy and a great choice of Solana wallet if you ask me. And to be honest, with you now that I have the Phantom, now that I have the Soulflare and Backpack wallets, I do think that Soulflare has a great sleek user interface. Knowing that also they were the first ever Solana wallet to exist gives me a bit more hope because they've been here for a longer amount of time. Nonetheless, I do believe that the Phantom wallet is still my favorite and I will continue to use those in the future. However, Soulflare is a great choice in my opinion and could be a great alternative if you are looking for a boner wallet, if you're looking for a second wallet to store cryptocurrencies, or even if you just want to connect it with your ledger, Soulflare could be a great option option for you. Now you know exactly how to download it, you know exactly how to deposit assets, you know exactly how to send assets to other wallets, you know exactly how to connect and use other decentralized applications in the Solana ecosystem. But let's just say, for example, Jupiter Exchange wasn't enough for you. What you can do is I'm just going to show you through my Phantom wallet. If you go over to the little application center, you can find so many different popular protocols, or you can go over to Coin Market Cap. What you have to do is find Solana, for example, go down on the left hand side, go to where it says Solana ecosystem. From here, you can find different different tokens and protocols within the Solana ecosystem. For example, Jupiter, which is the exchange that we showed you, which is a DEX aggregator. If you scroll down, you've also got Wormhole, you've got Radium, a top decentralized exchange. Scroll down, you've got Step in GMT, which is obviously the move to earn game. If you scroll down, once again, we've got Audius, the audio platform, which is similar to Spotify. You scroll down, guys, you can see so many different protocols, so many different meme coins, tokens, you name it. Everything is here under the Solana ecosystem tab on coinmarketcap.com. And you can do the same thing on CoinGecko. You can check out other similar statistic protocols such as DeFi Llama. Go over to where it says Solana. Scroll down and you will see all of these different protocols such as Jitto, Camino, Marinade, Radium, Sanctum, Jupiter Perpetual Exchange, Drift, Marginfi, Blastake, Medeora, Save, Orca, Solayer, Ondo Finance, The Vault, Zero One, Jaypool, Edgevana. Guys, there's so many here. Make sure you do your own research before using them. However, this is a great way of checking out different protocols within the Solana ecosystem as well. Although there are many different websites that you can do this, these are a few options for you to do so. But the main focus was obviously to show you how to set up the Soulflare wallet, of which we now have our Solana tokens, and we can freely use the applications as we wish. Nonetheless, my friends, if you're looking for other content, we've got Crypto Airdrops, which is the most popular content on our YouTube channel. We've got over 131 different airdrop tutorials, all of which you can check out for free and earn some free tokens by doing so. Guys, we appreciate you all so much. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to leave one in the comment section down below. Friends, we appreciate you so much and we can't wait to see you in the next video. And we currently have a promotion running on Bybit, the best centralized exchange platform for buying, trading and earning. Bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies and you can claim up to $4,380 just by signing up using the link in the description below. It's simple. If you need help finding the right crypto gems, then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews, crypto guides and more. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time, DGENs.